what Warframes run and all the weaponry, everything like that. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you complete the second dream in the War Within class is you're going to come over here next to Kanzu and there's going to be this door you go into. Now when you go into this door, you want to get these three set of amps. Amps are part of what makes a Warframe actually do damage to the Eidolon shields. You want this set up. You want all Cetus parts. These are the parts that you're going to want to get because the moat amp is just garbage. Other amp that is basically the best in the game aside from the Cetus amp is the your first primary doesn't really matter but it's these two parts that make the, uh, the best amp in the game. However you have to toroid farm. I'll leave that in another video. It's going to be up top or at the end of the video but if you just want to worry about Cetus parts then you would go back to the scaffold and the Locrin brace. So now the Warframes are going to want to run. Bolt, a Rhino, Mirage if you have one, if you, it can really work. Her first ability is your main thing you're going to be worried about. Your fourth ability can actually really kill Vumbleth, so we'll get into that in a little. Chroma Prime or Chroma. Trinity is definitely, if you don't have Trinity, you can get an Ob Oberon. Oberon's good for healing over time, but Trinity's better. The thing you're going to want to build for Volt is you're going to want to build efficiency runs with him and duration runs with him because you're going to be deploying the Volt Shield. The Volt Shield, as you can see, uh, it does it says electricity for 50% less uh, more damage. This only stacks one time with your actual amp, but you can deploy up to three at a time when it comes to the damage to your weapons because radiation is a element that you're going to have to deal with. We'll go into that in a minute. The shock trooper. Shock trooper basically holds an additional percent of electricity to your attacks, which helps with taking out the idol one. With chroma, you want to crank the duration and the strength all the way up as much as you can. You should run nullifier. Nullifier will definitely help you with that that 102 percent chance to resist the magnetic proc that will literally help you way down the long run you also want to get arcane guardian arcane guardian or if you really want to momentum momentum will basically reload your sniper really 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 quick and arcane guardian is your best bet for that armor boost basically 900 so if you get damaged you have grace or anything that restores hp you can run those all right so the other thing i forgot to mention when it came to the actual amps in the game was you have to have Virtuous Shadow. Virtuous Shadow will actually give you um, on headshot you can void dash the enemy and this counts as a headshot. It will give you a 40% chance for a 60 plus percent chance on critical chance so that way you can keep getting your damage. Especially if you have the amp that I have, the one that's the best one in the game for the toroid farming, um, that will give you a 100% chance of critical chance, or you can use the other, uh, there's another prism in there that gives you like an extra 6% chance. Um, it is specifically, let's actually look what it is, it's the flamethrower one, it gives you uh, 600 void damage each, I have to check, but um, it's that one. Mirage, you run the same thing, you run duration, and you run range the same, and your range pretty pretty okay, because it area affects Vombalisk. Trinity, Trinity you're going to want to do Blessing build is, I have 156 duration, efficiency, range, and strength. You don't really need that high of a strength. Caps out at 100% restoration and damage reduction by 75. Keep your duration around 156, 175 range and efficiency. And then, if you run Oberon, same thing, you want to run that. Now the weapons I use is the Rubico. The Rubico, you want to get this gun uh, radiation damage. Radiation damage is only good against the Eidolons and Vombalus. You want to get all those mods that you possibly can. It's high as status chance and critical chance. All these right here. They're not too hard to get. The only one is hard is Heavy Caliber. The Lanka, the Lanka, same way. That's pretty much it for this build. The other one is take out armor. You can use the Sarpra. The Sarpra taking down the armor of the Eidolon. If you, you don't want to take too much armor off the Eidolon because you still want to get that radiation damage. Eidolon because then that way you don't get the 75% radiation damage. If you don't have the Rubico, then you can use the Lanka. Use the same setup as I had before. And then the lenses. Now lenses, the main ones you're going to want to run is Zunarik, Matarai, and Anaru. If you're running Volt, you're going to want to run Matarai because Void Strike, you want to upgrade this as much as you can. Uh, because Void Mode will basically stack your 8 attack 
attacks and you'll deal 12% of damage every second spent while cloaked. This can stack infinite number of times, but once you use those 8 charges, then the multiplier is completely gone and you have to start over. The other one, plus you also get the energy for amps and energy regen. Those are definitely going to help you with other types of lenses. The Zunarik, you're going to want to run with either Trinity or you can run Naro with Trinity, but I recommend doing Zunarik because you get that energy for five over five seconds uh, for energizing dash. The other one in the build for Trinity, by the way, is you can either run Oberon. The Trinity build is this right here. You don't want to actually buff the strength a lot. You don't really have to, but the max it goes up to is about 75% damage reduction restoration is 100. That's what you want for the lures and your teammates. That's, I, I forgot to mention that, but the, uh, yeah, the main, the main ones you're going to want to run is Zunarik, Naru, and Naru is basically good for you Void Blast and Eidolon or anything, and it will drop this Wisp, which dam which basically gives you an increase of 100% for your operator for 12 seconds. The other ones you're going to want to run, or actually upgrade, is you're going to want to run uh, Ink Blast Radius by 60%, because if you don't, it's going to be very kind of hard to actually get the Eidolon. You can get this pretty far. You can probably get it to like 8 meters. It's, it's pretty far. Those are pretty much the only things that you need to know about lenses for Eidolon hunting. As far as mods go, you want to run the Aurora, you want to run the Corrosive Projection, you want to run our, that, because, uh, and then the one, the mod that gives you Aurora effectiveness, I'll actually link it down below, I don't currently have it, but it basically increases it by 15%, you have basically like three or four, you can even have three people run this, and it'll actually, uh, with the effectiveness Aurora, and it will take down the Eidolon's armor pretty darn quickly. The, the Eidolon, so the Eidolon, the way the Eidolon works is once you take its shields down, there's going to be these parts that you're going to have to shoot down for the Eidolon. At that point, you'll see right here in this video, his shields will go down. You'll see like a red. When you when it goes red, that means that you're able to shoot the parts. When you shoot those parts, he'll get knocked down. When he gets knocked down, he'll actually get... When he gets knocked down, he'll actually start screaming. A magnetic proc comes along. Once you shoot all four parts, you rinse and repeat for the first one because it's the terror. And then once you kill him, he'll go in the air and he'll disappear and you get those shards. Uh, so the first thing when you actually get into the planes of Eidolon is you're going to see these weird looking, these weird devices. You hack these when you hack them. They're not charged up yet, so when you charge them up, you have to get Bombalus. Uh, after you shoot them and kill them, they'll have this ghost form lure. It'll charge it up. It'll go through this little tiny little thing that I'm shooting at here. Thing like that. When After it's done charging up, you did this is what tethers the Eidolon and then bring it over to the Eidolon in which you're going to be killing because if you don't, what's going to happen is he's going to teleport across the map. He's going to go in different places and you see like right now there's a Bombalus right there. You shoot him and then boom there's he's charging up. I need I think at least one more but it will turn blue. If you like this video and found it helpful please leave a like, subscribe down below and comment who actually is your favorite Warframe to run in the actual Eidolon hunt. Is it Volt? Is it Chroma? Rhino? Haro? Trinity? Or Oberon? And I also stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm probably going to be streaming uh, Warframe this week. Come check it out and hang out with us and I will see y'all in the next YouTube video.